discount have you ever walked inside a mall or a store and saw big sign boards written with sale or something like these with the percent sign many shops offer discounts on their products for customers discounts means the basic price of an article is reduced by few percentage shops use percent to determine the sale price from the original selling price let us understand how to calculate discount with the help of following situation ravi has a toy shop he wants to clear his stock for this year so he decided to offer the toys to the customers in reduced prices if the cost of the animal set is originally rupees 200 what is the selling price of the animal set if he offers a discount of 25% before solving this problem we must know the meaning of some basic terms original price the printed price of an article is called the original price it is also sometimes called as listed price or the marked price it is the price of the article before applying discount on it discount discount means the deduction made on the original price discount is generally given as percent of the original price it is always calculated on the original price selling price it is the difference between the original price and the discount it is also called discounted price in this problem the original price is rupees 200 and discount offered is 25% firstly we need to find discount percent of the original price so 25% of rupees 200 we have already done this kind of problem in our previous class let us find 25% of rupees 200 so 25 by 100 multiplied by 200 which gives 1/4 of 200 which is rupees 50 so rupees 50 is the amount to be subtracted from the original price so we get 200 minus 50 that is rupees 150 therefore rupees 50 is the selling price of the set of toy animals what we understood from this problem is that selling price is equal to original price minus 25% of original price and 25% of original price is the discount so to solve such problem we need to remember selling price is equal to original price minus discount discount is always calculated on the original price let us solve another problem on discount the sale price of the toy guitar is rupees 600 if the guitar was discounted 20% off what was the original price of the guitar in this problem we have the information about the selling price which is rupees 600 and the discount of 20% is offered we know that discount is calculated on the original price but in this problem we are not given the original price so we can suppose the original price as rupees x so discount on original price would be 20% of x we also know that the selling price is the difference between original price and discount therefore selling price is equal to x minus 20% of x as the selling price is given we can put its value in this equation 
and get 600 is equal to x minus 25 percent of x. 600 is equal to x minus 25 by 100 multiplied by x. 600 is equal to x minus 25x by 100. 600 is equal to 100 into minus 25x by 100. 600 is equal to 75x by 100. On cross multiplying, we get 75x is equal to 60,000. Therefore, x is equal to 60,000 by 75. And so, x is equal to rupees 800 is the original price. If there are various quantities and we want to represent each of them by a single quantity in general, we add all the given quantities and then divide the sum by the number of the given quantities. The resulting quantity is called the average which represents each of the given quantities in general. Average is equal to the sum of given quantities divided by number of given quantities. Average is also called mean or arithmetic mean. Let us calculate the average of quantities with these few examples. Find the average of 45, 56, 89, 23 and 34. Sum of the numbers which is equal to 45 plus 56 plus 89 plus 23 plus 34 which is equal to 247. We know that average is given by sum of all quantities divided by the number of quantities. Therefore, average is equal to 247 by 5 which is equal to 49.4. A cricketer has a mean score of 58 runs in 9 innings. Find out how many runs are to be scored by him in the 10th innings to raise the mean score to 61. Mean score of 9 innings is equal to 58 runs. Total score of 9 innings is equal to 58 into 9 runs is equal to 522. Required mean score of 10 innings is equal to 61 runs. Required score of 10 innings is equal to 61 into 10 runs is equal to 610 runs. Number of runs to be scored in the 10th innings is equal to Total score of 10 innings minus total score of 9 innings is equal to 610 minus 522 is equal to 88. Hence, the number of runs to be scored in the 10th innings is equal to 88. The average height of 30 boys was calculated to be 150 centimeter. It was detected later that one value of 165 cm was wrongly copied as 135 cm for the computation of the mean. Find the correct mean. Calculated average height of 30 boys is equal to 150 cm. Incorrect sum of the heights of 30 boys is equal to 150 into 30 centimeter is equal to 4500 centimeter. Correct sum of the heights of 30 boys is equal to incorrect sum minus wrongly copied item plus actual item is equal to 4500 minus 135 plus 165 centimeter is equal to 4530 centimeter. Correct mean is equal to correct sum divided by number of boys is equal to 
four five three zero divided by thirty centimeter is equal to one fifty one centimeter. Hence, the correct mean height is one fifty one centimeter.